And class is back in session for Chicago public school students, but it comes as that extreme heat is expected to hit the area this week. We know some parents are worried about whether CPS's buildings can handle that heat. Our Charlie DeMar caught up with school and city leaders digging into their plans to keep those kids safe. He joins us now live from Jackie Robinson Elementary. Charlie. And Jim and Marie here at Jackie Robinson. This was one of many stops that CPS CEO Pedro Martinez and Mayor Brandon Johnson made today to welcome kids back to school. But as for that warm weather that we are expecting this week, no real long term solutions to the infrastructure issues that CPS faces with its buildings and AC in its school, other than to say that they hope this heat wave passes quickly. There is always a lot of excitement when it comes to the start of the school year, and today was no different, but a major focus this week will be on the heat. Chicago public school leaders acknowledge that keeping kids cool is a challenge given the aging infrastructure of its buildings, while CEO Pedro Martinez says every classroom has at least a window unit. Many of the hallways and interiors of the buildings are not air conditioned. And it's a concern for parents like Marcy Pedraza, who has been advocating for greener schools. I can't make for a good learning environment for these kids. You know, I, I probably would expect uh, some absenteeism because of it, because parents will just say, well, I'm not going to subject my kids to that environment if it's going to be too hot. Of course, our buildings are old. So again, for our families, we know we have, you know, we have a lot of window units. We have extra window units. So again, we're going to continue to keep, keep an ear off for any school that's having any issues. Now, in a statement, Chicago Public Schools says that every classroom has a working window AC unit and that uh, there will be a mixture of opening doors and windows throughout the week to create better airflow for students as they do return back to class. And coming up at six, we spoke with an infrastructure expert, a professor who studies the impact of climate change on classrooms, and he says that CPS faces a number of unique challenges. Again, we'll have much more coming up at five o'clock reporting live from Jackie Robinson Elementary School. I'm Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. We'll see you at five, Charlie. Thank you.